Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope all of you are very happy and fresh. And don't forget to keep spirit and keep your health. Okay, for today, I would like to discuss about analytical exposition text. What is the meaning of analytical exposition text? Do you know it? Okay, let's do discuss together. Analytical exposition text. The definition. Analytical exposition is a text that elaborates the writer's idea about the phenomenon surrounding. Then the social function is to persuade the readers that the idea is an important matter and to analyze the topic that the thesis or opinion is correct by developing on arguments to support it. And then the language features. First, using a relational process. Second, using internal conjunction. Example, beside, in addition, further, but, meanwhile, on the other hand, second, then, next, consequence, as a result, so, the result. And the third, using causal conjunction. Example, because, consequently, despite, due to, for that reason, in that case, even though, yet, otherwise, etc. Then the fourth, using simple present tense. The fifth, using compound and complex sentence. And then the last, used word that link arguments such as firstly, secondly, and reasoning through causal conjunction, such as in additions, furthermore, however, therefore. The generic structure of analytical exposition text are the first thesis, introducing the topic and indicating the writer's point of view. Second, arguments, explaining the arguments to support the writer's position. The number of arguments may vary, but each argument must be supported by evidence and explanation. The third, reiteration. To stating the writer's point of view or to strengthen the best the thesis. We can use the following phrase to make conclusion in reiteration. Example, from the text above, I personally believe, therefore, my conclusion is in conclusion. Okay, this is a example of analytical exposition. The first paragraph called by thesis, and then the second third and fourth colored uh, arguments, and then the last paragraph called by reiteration. This is uh, the detailed information about the first paragraph. What has one billion user and doubles as the second largest search engine on the internet? The answer is YouTube. The search engine has been an incredible tool for most businesses. Unfortunately, not many businesses make use of it. And then, for the I want to share why YouTube is such a significant platform for your brand as a topic sentence. The second paragraph, followed by arguments. It is said that YouTube is the second largest search engine, while its parent company, Google, is the first. Do you know what it means? It means Google gives search engine priority to YouTube video. This is a topic in the first argument. And then try to search for a how to on a Google. Then the result come back with several video related to the how to. The video may have even been the first result on the page, even though some of this video that back several years to 2011 and before. This is elaboration because elaboration support the idea of the topic. And then in this sentence, uh, use the simple present. We can see the it is said 
it means and come back. This is so the simple present. Okay, and then the third uh, or the last paragraph. Uh, this is called uh, conclusion or reiteration. Based on the arguments above, is yes, summarizing words. And then I believe that YouTube is beneficial to promote and expand your businesses. This yes, topic sentence. And then, so what are you waiting for? Make one now. It's so the conclusion or reiteration. Okay, everyone, you can see on my YouTube channel to to get another explanation because if i play in this video you cannot uh, see the detailed information okay thank you very much i hope you can understand about the analytical exposition and see you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh